Welcome back. You built a solid foundation for your workflow and optimized it using additional Asana features. Next, you'll move into the third and final phase of workflow design, deploying your workflow. Even the most well-designed workflow can fall flat without proper socialization and team buy-in. There are three essential steps for socializing your new workflow. Pilot and gather feedback, design your communication plan, and enable your team. We'll go through each step and check in with Alan to see how he's implementing it at the MGF. First, pilot your workflow with a small group and gather feedback to identify any gaps or wrinkles before you roll it out to the whole team. You can even use an Asana form to capture feedback. Amy, from our event's staffing team, and Craig, the Phoenix League manager, are going to be my pilot testers. It turns out they want to see where the events are happening. No problem. I can add a custom field to the form faster than you can say workflow optimization. I'm so proud. Next, design your communication plan. Set a go live date for the new workflow and start building awareness around the change. This is a great time to reflect back on why your team is using Asana in the first place, focusing on how it's gonna make your teammates' lives easier. I'm planning to launch the new workflow at the end of next month. Between now and then, I'll announce it at our all hands meeting and send a follow-up email. I'll also have my pilot testers share a video message in our team channel telling people how the new process is gonna help us host more great events across all of our leagues. Maybe I'll even sprinkle some unicorn glitter on everybody's keyboard. Sure, Alan, just be sure to check your office's official glitter policy. Okay, finally, enable your team on the new workflow. If they're new to Asana, make sure they get some basic training first. Then walk everyone through the new process and any specific expectations so they understand how you'll collaborate together. Everyone is pretty new to Asana. I'll send them a few tutorial videos and some training to get started. Then, I'll walk the team through the Asana journey of a real event request. I'm encouraging everyone to use Asana comments for all workflow-related communication. No more playing email detective to find that one crucial message from three weeks ago. Sounds like a plan to me. I think they're gonna love it. To recap, we learned how to socialize a new workflow, pilot the workflow and gather feedback, develop a communication plan, and enable the team through training and shared expectations. Take a moment to consider, how will you socialize your new workflow to ensure smooth adoption with your team? Up next, you'll learn how to analyze your workflow using Asana's dashboard and portfolio features.